There's a fire, the flame, okay. very bad, very your address, what was The fire just kept going. You couldn't do anything. <laughs> I just kept praying, please let her be okay, please let her be okay. They just said it could be an accident. She could have died in the fire, uh, we don't know. I didn't want to believe it. I really didn't. I just didn't want it to be true. It was confirmed that it was, in fact, a homicide. Where does David say he was during the time of the fire? At the hockey rink with his boys. Many the witnesses saw him there on the ice. Somebody was in the house after David and the children left for hockey. He just said, I know who, what, when, where, and how. Somebody is not telling the truth here. There are some gaps in the story, absolutely. Yeah. He was promised $100,000 and a life in Florida. We decided to do an undercover operation. I said, I think I might be able to fix this problem for you. I said, oh, this guy's really looking to go somewhere. He gets on that flight. We have no way to stop him. He's got his dog, he's got his luggage. This was a race against time. It was. 